Welcome to episode 236 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're going to talk about the way to build true community. (laughs) (laughs) Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So I am wearing around my neck what would be called is, is a soccer scarf. I guess for the purists, maybe you're calling it uh, a football scarf. Let me make sure I get it on the right way. And uh, this is a scarf that is going to be the premium swag item for uh, a conference that I'm putting on with my uh, company, Asodu, with my business partner, Kyle Mountseer. Here you can see the thing, Asodu. Where is it at? Asotu. Asotucon. And basically, this is a conference that is for a media company, really a community Uh, that we've built around the auto industry. I started it when uh, the pandemic hit and everybody was locked down. Auto dealers didn't know what to do, so they seemed to feel better when they were on a call with all the other dealers that also didn't know what to do. And so I thought, how can I scale this feeling? I was like, I know we'll do a live stream. And I was brushing my teeth and I said, we need to call it something official so that people will show up. So we decided, I decided to call it Automotive State of the Union or a SOTU, it says on my hat, A-S-O-T-U. And thousands and thousands of people showed up to this LinkedIn live stream. I thought we were going to get in trouble even for going into work to run it. And we had everybody in the industry, the most influential people, all the way through the rank and file. And everyone showed up for three hours. Everyone was locked up in their rooms watching this content. And then we had another one and another one and another one. And then we had a live one in Philly, November of 2020, in between lockdowns. And 100 people literally flew out in the pandemic to just put put a flag in the ground and say, we're not backing down. We're moving forward as an industry. Fast forward to early last year, uh, brought um, my business partner, Kyle Mountseer. He came in. He threw all his intention and weight behind it. We formed it in a company. Now it's a company. We raised a small round of investment. I say all of that. To say, this business was built on the back of community, not on the back of a product or service. Gary Vaynerchuk, who who many of you know, um, you know that I'm I'm close with Vayner and Gary and and what what he's doing over there at VaynerX and NFTs and all that stuff. But Gary said something very interesting. He said, most people, when they say we want to build community, if you just look and peel back the word community just a little bit, you'll see that they really mean customers. They're doing things for customers. But I can tell you firsthand, a SODU, Automotive State of the Union, was built on the back of community. That's people coming together around a shared purpose and a shared vision. And when people come together around a shared purpose and a shared vision, because you've given some, some hope and you've given something to look forward to and you've given some like instruction or a rally point or a beacon for them to gather around, guess what? It is strong. And yes, sure, it does work as a business, but it works as something that's fulfilling to people's lives. I'm really afraid that community is going to become, or maybe already is, this buzzword that people are starting to sling around. Just the way that brand became a buzzword after people started to sling it around and eventually it becomes meaningless or it's very difficult to see who's the real deal and who's just saying the word because it's a popular word. I think community, the word community is on its way there, but the principle of community will never go out of style because it is really how humans are wired is to be together, is to have fellowship with one another and figure out how we're going to stick together to do something meaningful. So today's episode, this scarf the reason we did a soccer scarf for this event, and if you're interested in the event, by the way, it's a Sotu Con, a s o t u c o n dot com. Uh, we still have some tickets left. If you want to go, we're going to be in Philly, September 11th through 13th. The reason we picked the soccer scarf or the football scarf as our swag item—it's a premium one too. It's like super nice and soft, and it's my first one. It's because soccer fans—I don't know if you've noticed—are a little fanatical, right? They live and die by the sport. So we thought that was a good indicator. When the Asoto community comes together in Philly, hundreds of them, and actually on Monday night, maybe thousands, that the soccer scarf is just a symbol of how people feel inside about what is going on. It's the symbol of how people feel inside about their team. NFL is about to start. Football season's about to start. And you see a, seat, a stadium full of people in community around something they feel inside for the team they're watching. So I ask you today, whatever you're doing, if you're in business or in your personal life or in your your faith life or not-for-profit, 
even even with friends and, and other groups, what are you actually aspiring to? Are you aspiring to build community? Like for real, for real? It's okay if you're like actually just, I'm just trying to build a great product that people want to buy. That's fine. That's great, right? Every product doesn't need community. Although every product does have similar attributes that draw similar people toward it. But, you know, I'm not, definitely not throwing shade on anyone who doesn't want to do that. But what I'm trying to do is give you perspective to see firsthand that when you spend the time to cultivate the community, which means spending time to understand why people join together and what inspires them and what was really the original intention behind why they got together, behind why they do what they do in the first place. And then just put that into words and put that into symbols and things that people can just actually latch onto and say, yeah, you know what? We're on this trip together. We're on this journey together. And I actually think that us being on the trip together makes us a lot more likely that we're going to get there. And even if we never arrive, it's better that we tried because that's really what vision is. Vision is supposed to be something you never get to. It's supposed to be that thing over the horizon, you know, that direction that you're always marching, even though you know you'll probably never arrive, but you know moving more, uh, moving forward in that direction is worth the march. So those are my thoughts on community. I hope you don't use the word in vain. You use the word community when it's appropriate. Let's try to not make it a buzzword or if it's gonna become a buzzword because we can't stop it from doing that. Let's show everybody what real community is. So thankful to have you as a part of this Clarity Compressed community. I'm always here. If you need something, hit me up in the DMs, reach out. I'd be happy to help you give you some perspective or just tell you I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you next week. We came to find-